You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Hi, everyone. This is the Ask Annie podcast, Horse Girl reviews on products you use. This episode is brought to you by Central Life Sciences and Starbar Products. Clarifly Larvicide is more than just a fly control product. It is the first step towards improving horse comfort and keeping nuisance flies out of your stables. This feed additive uses an active ingredient that passes through the digestive system of horses and is expelled in their manure, where it stops flies in their larval stage. By using Clarifly Larvicide as part of an IPM program with Starbar products, you'll get more support, more expertise, and more control. Visit centralflycontrol.com to learn more or contact your local feed dealer. Hi everyone, I have a surprise for you this week. Do you remember in episode 82 when Andrea Bolduck of Starbar Products introduced their newest product, Aviator Flybait Aerosol? If you haven't listened to that episode yet, you definitely need to. But in that episode, Andrea raves about Aviator Flybait Aerosol, and I was lucky enough to receive a bottle of it from Starbar Products to review on today's episode. Let's dive right in. The Aviator Flybait Aerosol comes in a 16-ounce spray can, similar to a large can of hairspray. As the name implies, it is an aerosol, meaning it is applied using a spray nozzle. The Starbar website states that this intentional design was crafted so that aviator flybait aerosol could be applied to hard to reach places such as beams, door jams, window frames, along foundations, or low on walls. The application instructions are very straightforward for this product. Simply spray aviator flybait aerosol in any area that is out of reach of children and animals on any non-porous surface that is out of reach of direct sunlight and rain. According to the Starbar website, one application should provide about 30 days of protection and the aviator flyby aerosol should be applied no more than 10 times per year. Reapply when you notice flies reappearing in this area. After reading the instructions and precautions, I headed outside to try it on my own barn. Once I was outside, I let the horses out to pasture and scouted where the best places to apply the aviator flybait aerosol. I decided that the beams and the interior door jam on our barn would be the best because they are tough to reach with other types of fly control, are both non-porous, and are out of reach of animals and children. I took the lid off of the aviator flybait aerosol and held it about six inches away from the area I wanted to apply it to. The spray came out of the canister consistently and in a steady stream. One thing I was very aware of of where I was spraying the spray, and it was very easy to guide and spray in the area I wanted to protect, and I felt confident that it didn't get on areas that the animals were in. According to the Starbar website, aviator flybait aerosol kills houseflies, lesser houseflies, fruit flies, dark-eyed fruit flies, and vinegar flies using two active ingredients in its formula that draws the pests in and then terminates them. I was really pleased that even though this product is a heavy duty insect killing aerosol, I was confident that I was able to apply it in a safe manner that wouldn't hurt our animals. I can't wait to see how it impacts our fly mitigation over the next few weeks and hopefully diminishes our fly populations. Overall, I was really pleased with the clear instructions and easy application of the Aviator Flybee aerosol. It was packaged in a way that was easy to use and I felt confident knowing our animals were safe when we were applying the spray. For more information on Aviator Flybait Aerosol, please visit starbarproducts.com. That's S-T-A-R-B-A-R-P-R-O-D-U-C-T-S dot C-O-M for more information. Thanks for tuning in. Learn more about the Ask Annie podcast by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Ask Annie Podcast. Have a suggestion for a product you'd like me to use in an upcoming episode? Email me at askanniepodcast at gmail.com or leave a comment on any of our social media pages. Find even more Ask Annie episodes anywhere you listen to podcasts, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. The Ask Annie Podcast is a production of the Equine Podcast Network, an entity of Equine Network, LLC. 